one now. I can figure it out. One now. I just can't figure it out. Anyway, what's up, what's up, what's up, peoples? It's the Real Rasta Boy TV, and it's your boy, the Real Rasta Boy, coming to you on Friday with a brand new segment I'm going to call The Week in Review T. Okay? Everybody know that TGIF is motherfucking Friday, and I'm here to give y'all The Week in Review T. Everything that went on this week that I didn't get to talk to y'all about, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a recap about what's popping and what's hot and what's not and all that that's popping in entertainment culture and all that good stuff around the world that you may have not heard about or have heard about, but you know, I got to put my spin on it. Cheers it up. It's Friday. Big shout out to everybody out there who is celebrating birthdays today and this weekend. I'm sipping on my drink of choice tonight is um, pina colada juice and apple vodka. Yes, God, it's so uh, apple vodka is everything with this damn pina colada juice. Make sure y'all are tearsing it up and leaving y'all comments and hitting the like button on this video to make sure that y'all are also sharing it on your Facebook and your um, Twitters. But y'all just hear me giving my girl Rihanna a big shout out. One now, I just can figure it out. I know I'm not a damn singer, but Rihanna... Bitch, you did that. So tonight, earlier today, this morning, if you have not checked it out yet, please go to my blog right now, and I'll post the link in my video description so you can check it out for yourself. Rihanna, she dropped the video today for what now? I don't know what number of video this is off her um, latest project, Unapologetic. Um, that's the name of the album. But the video was everything. What I mean, the video was everything, meaning that she was giving me um, gothic, she was giving me, um, what do you call it again? She was giving me, um, she was giving me crazy, she was giving me um, asylum, she was giving me everything Rihanna wants to do. She pushes the boundary every time. So, Rihanna, this what now video, bitch, I'm giving you two snaps on a motherfucking twist because, bitch, you turn it out. You turn it out as always, Rihanna. You were giving me extors, 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 girl. I was giving me Vampire Diaries from the CW. You was giving me old nasty ass gothic. You were giving me Crazy Girl from I don't know. You were giving me scary movie. You were giving me everything. In this video very dark, very crazy, very gothic. Rihanna, what now? Video you got to see it for yourself if you're not yet seen. Please now go to my blog, pause this video, and go to my blog, therealrasterboy.blogspot.com, and check it out for yourself, and then y'all can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so enough of that. I want to give a big shout out and cheers it up to the new winner of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 20, Jordan. Mm. This cartel is every fucking thing. If y'all didn't watch it tonight, y'all bad luck. I'm going sp to spill a DMT right now. The finalists were Corey from Philly. Big shout out to Corey from Philly, representing the LGBT community. Then you have Marvin, representing um, the Bronx, the Latin community, and Jordan, representing the blonde, the the black, the girls, obviously, and the blonde bombshells. So we all know that last week Tara Banks said she was gonna cut one person before the finale walk, runway walk, and the person that was cut this week was Corey. I was like, there was it, because I really want a court to express himself, rip the runway, having compared to somebody else, so we can see if he was a good comparison to be America's Next Stop Model Cycle 20, or America's Next Stop Model Cycle 2.L, as Tara Banks want to put it, guy versus girl. But Marvin didn't win. I was also rooting for Marvin to be the winner of top, um, the season 20 cycle. But again, it's another girl that won. So Jordan, you take the damn cake, girl. Hopefully you will take this damn button and run with it and make the damn American Star Model franchise be proud. Um, and, I, and I guess they're going to be doing cycle 21 with guys and girls again because when they finish, um, Tara said... Guys and girls, if you're interested in joining Top Model, please go right on the CWTV.com. So I'm sure she's going to do another cycle with guys and girls because this season seems like it was a very good success. Oh, and 
I can't just not talk, stop, but to say big shout out to Rob Evans. It is the one of the most sexiest male model that I really like. Liked, and when I see him on that season from last year to now, oh, one of the main reasons why I watch Top Model. But scandal was last night. It was started off with Millie. The president's wife getting a really good backstory so we can see where she came from, who was this Millie lady. Um, her, I was so mad up for all this nastiness that happened last night. But, you know, it's scandal. We got a good scandal episode last night. I was gagging the the father-in-law that's um that's um Fitz's father. He raped his own step um stepdaughter or daughter-in-law would put it. So now she's pregnant. Who's the damn baby father? Is it Fitz or his damn father? Please leave your comments and let me know who y'all think um, is um, the father of Millie's um, first child. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have nasty ass um, Quinn effing with the traitor. Now her hands is dirty because she went ahead and stabbed someone with some damn syringe in his hand. Now her hands are all over the damn um, security area on videotape and everything. Are we going to have another um, Quinn number two being a client of um, Olivia Pope? Let's see what happens next week. Not only that, but guess who's alive? Olivia Pope's mom, Mama Pope. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. I can't wait for next week scandal episode because this week gave me everything. Mama Pope is alive. Quinn is being messy. Got caught up again. Um, Millie got raped by, the, uh, by her step, um, by her father-in-law. And Millie just was wanted to be everything a first lady wanted to be. She wanted to embody this first lady persona, everything so much that she would give up everything of her to be this person that you know. I don't know. She was put. She, she did. Re, she did a lot. So you know, my feelings for her kind of changed. But Millie is so messy. Mm -mm, Millie. Oh my God. Y'all gotta keep on watching ABC Scandal on Thursday night. So, Branson Family Values also was on. It came back for the brand new episode, a brand new season's back. All the girls are back from Tamar, Tony, Tawanda, Tracy, Trina. They're all back. And this episode, we're gonna see a lot of messiness. It started off, obviously, where the girls are in New Orleans, um, bringing in um, Essence Music Festival. Obviously, the question that I had is about Trina divorce and Trace's um, husband cheating or having a um, well child. What do they call a child that you know you have on the side, a side child? You know what I mean? It was messy. What I didn't like, and I could care if it's Tay Martians want to eat me up, but sorry, Tamar Braxton doing that Christmas album right after Love and War was too sudden. Sorry, Epic, or sorry, whoever label you're on. You all need to let the girl um, keep on promoting, touring, and doing the best she can do with this Love & War album right now. We don't need to get a Christmas album, what, Win Winter Wonderland from Tamara Braxton right now. That one, that one came out this week. I've not even saw her did one damn performance of one of the singles so far on any TV show. That's how much promotion she's doing for this album. But I know she has a lot of big fans on Twitter, and she may have Gaga sent her send a tweet out to the, so the um so the bosses can go ahead and maybe buy the album for for Tamar Winter Wonderland. But sorry, this album was not supposed to be out so early. You could have did this next year around this time, so we can have a Christmas album from you when you have nothing going on. You just put album out in October or September. Now the album for you for Christmas or whatever. girl, you're doing too much. Have several seats. Um, Tracy, I'm loving that you're giving me these um, this nice new weaves or these nice new wigs you've been wearing, girl. Yes, everything. And Tony Braxton, this is why I love Tony Braxton so much. She was giving me Tony Braxton throwback 80s, 90s hair, very short, cute, red lips. Tony Braxton and Babyface make so good music. I can't wait to hear the album next February 2014. The, um, her, um, Hurt You, the new singer from Babyface and, Trey, and, and Tony Braxton. Please make sure if you're not yet cop the damn single, go to iTunes and download it now because Tony and Babyface single is phenomenal. The music feeder is superb. I can't wait for the full album from Tony and Babyface um, Edmonds. What else? So that was that was basically what was going on from Braxton Family Values last night. Um, um, you know. Tracy confronting Tuana about, you know, the, 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 she 
putting our business on blast without, you know, talking to her first. But, you know, it's, it's sisters, you know, sisters, they try to look up for each other sometimes and stuff that, sometimes stuff happens with, without you trying to do anything. You know, um, Tawanda was trying to um, not really out Tracy and the relationship that was going on with her husband and the so-called child on the side, but it was all in the media. People were talking about it, so it was has to be talked about. And come on now, let's talk about Trina Braxton and Gabe um messy upcoming divorce. Because she filed a divorce and it seemed like it's gonna be going through. I don't know. But um Bank of Family Values is geared up to be one hot ep um season this year. So, so please make sure check your TV lo local listen for your area for Brand Family Values on Thursday nights, We TV, Pebbles, um, aka Reed. Pebbles was married to L.A. Reed, former um, manager of um, Ch um, Chili T Boz and Left Eye TLC, the biggest girl group of all time. Came out this week on the Wendy Williams show to spill her beans and said that she has never scammed TLC. All that we saw in the movie on VH1 was not 100% true or maybe 99% untrue. And she is so hurt by these allegations that were made in the movie that she's potentially going to be filing a lawsuit against VH1 and the first people who are behind the whole TLC um, crazy, crazy, crazy sexy cool movie that came on VH1. Also made an allegation to say that Chili... You know, a fabulous Chili was effing with her her now ex husband Elliot Reed while she was with TLC, and the reason why um, they are making accusation that um, they wanted Chili out of the group that is not true. Um, Pebbles did not kick Chili out of the group, as according to Chili, so according to Pebbles, but Ch Pebbles said. T Boss and Left Eye did not want Chili in the group because she was messing with Dallas Austin. You know, Dallas Austin is one of the music producers in ATL. Also worked with TLC and many other people in ATL. But um, that's what Pebble said. She did not want to kick um, Chili out of the group. But it was T Boss and Left Eye who were saying that because um, Chili was in the group. She should not be messing with the producers. So when she was doing all that and they were backstabbing and, you know, breaking the, the group code girl codes, she was given an ultimatum of leaving the group. So Pebble said that later this week, TLC, the remaining left members of TLC, which is Chili and um and T Boss responded with an official statement that Chili never messed with um LA and Reed and Pebbles is telling a lie. I'm telling a lie. Pebbles, you're so late for coming out with this um, um fire back all of a sudden when the movie's like over weeks, right, four weeks old. Um, the T the TLC twenty album is out now on iTunes, making money, and you are now wanting to talk, so, tell your so called um truth. Pebbles go sit some damn where and have several seats also. Anyway, um, what you can get on my blog, and I want to give a big shout out to Miss Jennifer Hudson for getting her first. Well, you can only get one, but for getting her Hollywood Walk of Fame star this week. You know, people are saying that it's too quick for her to get a, um, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But bitch is putting her time in. She's got an Oscar, an Emmy, a Golden Globe, a G Grammy. She has done her damn time. If she's if she gets to get a damn star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so be it. All your motherfucking haters out there who's hating on Jay Hud, my fabulous Jennifer Hudson, who's lost so much weight, looking fierce and fabulous. Y'all, eat your hearts out because she has a fucking star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame now. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching my Weekend in Review Tea. Please keep on subscribing and cheersing it up. I'm drinking on pina colada juice tonight with some damn um, mm, apple vodka. Y'all can submit um, your own drink rubber seats, re re <laughs> recipes to me at TheRealRastaboyTV at gmail.com. TheRealRastaboyTV at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, thank. Oh, I, I'm, am I too drunk or something? These cousins are getting me right on point. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday because the weekend's about to be here and it's time to be turned up. I'm going to go and have more cocktails and see y'all on Sunday for ATL Housewives. From the rest of TV, deuces. Oh, God, I'm so tired.